Welcome to JMM News, the morning news. I am your host, Jose Zabayos, and this is my co-host, Marjorie Hernandez. Today, we'll be talking about the Korean War in relation to the Cold War. Korea has been split into two sides, North and South. The USSR trying to invade the North with the communist ideas. The US, of course, has tried to send in troops to help and stop the spread of this communism. Oof. This just in, in the North part of Asia, Japan is getting bombarded. It's raining mo- We apologize for that interruption. Well, now that my anchor is back, we will take it over to Estrella Caballero, the weather girl, for the rest of this weather. Thank you, Jose and Margie. Now we're gonna take we're gonna take a look at the footage from Japan that's getting bombed right now by the U.S. in Sakanaki. Let's take a look. That was a very tragic event. Now we're gonna go into the nuclear war where we speak about how the US stopped spreading communism. From the creators of Squiggle Wiggle Rider and Squiggle Ball. Don't all this lame stuff. I'm gonna break it to you people, but the USSR is kicking America's in the space race right now. But that's okay. We gonna come back even harder. We got the first man to the moon up in that. Okay? We have footage from Apollo 11. Everything y'all need up in there. Okay? Apollo 11 right now in space right now we have intercoms connected to the moon so we can have a conversation have a conversation thank you very much chris for that nice introduction right here in space in the moon the first man in the moon you know Apollo 11 crew you know big uh, big victory for the usa after getting our butts kicked by the ussr back in space doesn't allow there to be much volume to my voice but it's a pleasure to be here representing usa the best country in the world thank you very much there you go, people. Questions answered. Everything you need to know. Back with Australia with the health crisis in Berlin. Y'all listen to her, because she's important. Thank you. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. I'm sorry for a rude interruption. Now we're back, and we're going to be seeing what the U.S. is doing for Berlin. East Berlin is trying to get West Berlin into communism. East Berlin is using the Berlin Wall to cut off supplies from West Berlin. West Berlin refuses to get into communism. In order for them to continue to fight with communism, they will need help from the U.S. The U.S. will be providing West Berlin with food and water for the past year to make sure that they do not fall into communism. Now, Margie, would you like to enlighten us with the entertainment of the day? Hi, everyone, and thank you, Australia, for that wonderful introduction. Today in entertainment, we have propaganda. In this time of war, propaganda has been a very large issue. Television programs and films such as Make Mind Freedom and Meet King Joe trying to get you Americans to be happy to be in a capitalist society. Motion pictures and comic books were big ways to influence the younger generation. To see Americans being mistreated by Soviets, this was just used to generate buzz about the war, and as we can all see, it has worked. And now we bring out the whole rest of the crew. Okay, since I got one part in this thing and it was my idea and all, we better get an HR, because we know where you live. Um, we'll come after you. And now you can get to the crew. Thank you very much. This is Jose Ceballos. This is Chris Rosalto. This is Sherry Carrero. This is Marjorie Hernandez. And thank, thank you, you for, for watching j News. News. Now, people, onto the bloopers. Pepsi. <laughs> wow, that was a very tragic event. Christopher, leave. She's really, really buff. It's your boy Wizzy V. Brawley with Super Brawley. Kill that sh I see that ass, baby. Eh, eh, eh. She's buff. I did not put the first one up there. They got the space first. The papers. <laughs> first man to space. We the have a <laughs> communist. We're just gonna say that, okay? No. 
It's a welcome. It's, it's like, sense, though. would you like to Because she's introducing you. She's like, now we pass on to Marjorie. She's yeah, she's welcoming you into... She's introducing you, not welcoming you. She's like, now we pass it on to Marjorie. It's like, she's introducing who's going to talk about the next thing. An introduction. Well, I feel very welcome. So we're going to say welcome. Thank but you. it's introduction. See, this is what I mean. All that head and nothing to fill it. Exactly. Introduction. It's not a welcome. It's an introduction.